he's very good with young players. Um, and you know, he's, he's been under Pizza Mosimani. And it doesn't matter what you say, um, you, you have to learn um, when, you, when you're under pizza because he's the sort of person that demands a great work ethic from, from all of the people that work with him and for him. Um, my only concern is that it's almost the same thing that's happening over and over again where the promotion is done internally. I understand the problem and I understand and although I haven't spoken to to anybody at Chiefs about about this, honestly, nor have I spoken to to any coach about this. But what I do understand is that after the weekend's result and the unhappiness again in the stadium, Chiefs had to make a decision um, to either keep Molefi and risk further trouble, um, or or make a change. Yeah. So it's not as if they had the luxury of time to sit down and plan their next step. The logical thing would be then to promote within. You can't bring Arthur back. You've just moved him into the assistant coach's role. You bring him back. It's almost like saying, well, we bring him back somebody who we believe hasn't succeeded at the club. So Arthur's moved into the development structures again. Um, is there enough time to bring a new coach in immediately? No. So you have to put a caretaker coach in place. And I guess the logical thing to do was to find somebody within the structure that hadn't been in that position before, um, somebody new to the bench that hopefully can make a difference. And that's the thinking. It's not bad thinking at all. Um, we see it happen all over the world when a head coach um, moves on and he doesn't move on with his his assistant staff. Normally what happens is either one of the assistants or if those assistants move away as um, as they normally do with, with the head coach, they'll normally promote somebody from the youth structure. So it's done. It's not the first time it's been done. Um, so I think it was probably Kaiser Chiefs' only um, option um, in a quick decision that had to be made. So it's sensible. Do you think he will succeed? I Chiefs? can't tell you that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if you have a look at the fact that they've, you know, they've had, I think this is their eighth coach in five years. Yeah. And truthfully speaking, you look at, at the lack of success that these coaches have had. Ernst Bindorp came the closest. I think he was within half an hour of winning the Champ- league. Yeah, in Champions League. Um, uh, no, the league. Yeah. I think Baraka equalized, if I'm not in mistaken, minutes, eh? yeah. in the last few minutes of the game. Um, Stuart Baxter never quite achieved what he achieved the first time at Chiefs where he won you know, back-to-back league titles. So, you know, once this period is over, I honestly think that management will do a lot of soul-searching and they'll look at what's, what's going on within the club – 